in one minute I don't know how you are going to cry to God but please cry to God and say father every dishonor that I've communicated to this grace because of lack of discernment I obtain mercy tonight and I receive with an open heart I desire my life to change I understand the ministry of the prophetic someone is praying someone is praying your life is about to change lift your voice and pray shilaparus kadibala satatia rekete badusa sikete balanda shalakato brahasadia we are about to pray what a life you will never be the same Someone is praying, Father, the grace to be broken, the grace to examine myself, the grace to passionately pursue knowledge, the grace to discern and open up my heart and my spirit to the prophetic. and keeping God you are covenant keeping God Yahweh covenant keeping God Sila Bashalanda Sala Shabraski Barita Hasha one more time Let me speak over your life and then your pastor will come and speak again. We do not stand sufficient in ourselves. We are only but products of his mercy and products of his grace. But let me tell you this, if you open up your heart to discern, you will marvel and wonder at what happens to your life from tonight. In the name of Jesus. I stand by the spirit of grace over your life inside outside the overflows and those following online every prison spiritually shilakata financially that you have found yourself in in the name of Jesus who is a help them please Jesus who is the son of the living God? Come out of that prison now. Come out of that prison now. Come out of that prison now. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Every gate, ancient gates, shatakata, ancestral gates, locked up by witchcraft, help them please. I'm prophesying to someone, every altar that sits upon your destiny and will not let you go. You have fasted and you have prayed. I come in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. I command fire on those altars now. Fire on those altars now. Fire on those altars now. Every opportunity you have lost, every relationship you have lost, in the name of Jesus, I call upon my God, the restorer of time, and I speak to you between now.
now and the end of this year, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. Recover now. Believe what you are hearing. Recover now. Hallelujah. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. I don't know who in this city has been ordained to send for you, but I stand in the name of Jesus and I speak to the north of Abuja, the south, the east, and the west. Whoever must send for you to bring you out of that dungeon, I command that they send for you now. I command that they send for you now. I command that they send for you now. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Alas, master, it was borrowed. And he said, where fell it? Let me speak to someone here. That financial debt is sitting on your head. Sitting on your ministry. And it looks like there is no way out. I call upon the God of Jeshuron. The one who rides upon the wings of the wind. And I declare, according to the time of life, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. The Bible says the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest they dip their hands in iniquity. Every scheming of hell over your family, over your destiny to keep you grounded in the name of Jesus. He said, lose that man and let him go. I command be loose now. Be loose now. Be loose now. Be loose now. The psalmist said in Psalm 3, Many are they that rise up against me, he said. Many are they which say, Where is thy help? He said, But thou, O Lord, you are a shield for me. He says, You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. I decree and declare every horn, according to Zechariah 1, verse 18, that has lifted up his head against your destiny. O Judah, O city of peace, O city of praise, O city of worship, I come as a carpenter by the Spirit of grace and I declare unto you in the name of Jesus those horns are judged now those horns are judged now hallelujah please let me tell you this make up your mind to not miss any of these sessions by the grace of God we are going to deal with this now we are just having a discussion sincerely let me tell you this I fear God with all my heart and I serve God with all the grace that he has given me. I'm called to the body of Christ. I'm not called to a church or a ministry. And so when God grants me the privilege to come and minister, it's an opportunity to discern the dimensions that must be introduced into the lives and the destinies of people. Are we together now? My session, I understand, was supposed to be tonight and then Sunday, Sunday morning, but by the grace of God, for the sake of you and your loved ones, we're having a session tomorrow morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, please listen. This is a sacrifice that God is doing. I want you to come with all your family members tomorrow morning. If, except God is not God, but that there is an altar sitting on anyone's destiny. If I told by the grace of God your feet steps upon this place. Listen, before you believe a man, go and find out about him. Don't just believe for nothing. There is a name that God has given him and is exalted above every other name. 
please, I like you, whatever sacrifice you will make, if there are no overflow, sit on the sit on the, the roof. Wherever you can sit tomorrow morning, please open up your heart with your expectation. And Pastor, please, if you will allow me, I want everybody tomorrow, by the grace of God, if Pastor permits, write a request of what you are tired of seeing in your destiny. Please, I want to just obey this prophetic instruction. Those online or from whatever nation, I want you to write it. You can send it. I'm sure the media team will be able to help out. Please write it. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, we will bring those, those requests here. That the God that answers by prayer, here at Word Alive, let him be God. Are we together now? Many of your loved ones probably, they have been praying and saying, Lord, give us a visitation. I'm lending my voice with that of your man of God and let God help us deal with issues here once and for all. Hallelujah. Are we together? What, what time What time would that be? Nine o'clock. Nine on the dot. Please, whatever time, I'm sure that standing will not kill you. Come early, open up your heart and your spirit. You know anyone in your life who you see patterns, yokes of darkness, and respectfully speaking, even some of us men and women of God, we know some of our colleagues and contemporaries who you look at their lives and you know that this is not a reflection of the glory of God. That your heart be open tomorrow. Do the work of an evangelist. This is not just some publicity for the sake of self-aggrandizement. It's a communication of passion. I know by the Spirit that God wants to address issues in people's lives. Hallelujah. Tonight as you go, I declare the grace you didn't come with. May that grace rest upon you and go with you. And Samuel prophesied to Saul and said, the donkey you are looking for has been found. Before you reach home, some of you, I decree and declare that what has been missing for a long time, you will see it waiting for you. Number two. He said, you will see three men holding two loaves of bread. They will salute you and give to you. I don't care who has rejected you and who refused to attend to the matters of your destiny. But I stand upon this sacred altar. I compel them to attend to you. In the name of Jesus. Many of you tonight by the Spirit of God into tomorrow and the final session. There are ancient giftings. Many of you have had dreams and revelations. You've seen some of these impartations for yourself and your ministry. This is the season where you come with your heart open to receive. And I pray for you that even beginning from tonight, let God begin to do strange workings in your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's honor our Father as he comes and just speaks over your life. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Ezekiel 21 verse 27. He said, I will overturn. And overturn. And overturn. Until it comes to him whose wife it is. And I will give it to him. Lift up your hands. I pray for you today. That you will not end this year empty handed. That which God is to give to you, I release them right now. Wherever it is, I overturn. I move and I shift it to your direction. I move and I shift it to the direction of your family. I move and I shift it to the direction of your destiny. I overturn and overturn and overturn that which is yours and I hand it over to you in the name of Jesus I take your healing and I hand it over to you I take your favor and I hand it over to you any altar sitting on what is yours I unseat them now by fire any power sitting on what is yours, I unseat them now by fire. I receive your keys, but I hand them over to you. 
I receive your appointment letters. I hand them over to you. I receive your restoration. I hand them over to you. In the name of Jesus. Eternal Father, there is someone that has waited on you this long. Not only waiting in the place of fasting. Not only waiting in the place of even timing. You have waited in the place of patience and endurance. You despise shame. Despise insults. They have asked you, where is your God? Oh God, who made the heavens and the earth. The God of all flesh and the Father of all spirits. Show up today on behalf of your people. Show up today on behalf of your people. Show up, oh God, and roll away the reproach. Show up, oh God, and wipe away the tears. Show up, oh God, and take away the shame. Show up, oh God, and remove the pain. Show up, my Father, in the lives of these ones. Show up, oh God, and let them say, God, in the midst of his people, is mighty. Thank you, Father. Because it is done. Get ready. The remaining 28 days of this year shall be the best. There have been multiple 28 days. 28 days in January. You saw 28 days in February. You saw 28 days in March, April, May, June, July. You saw 28 days in August, even September. You saw 28 days in October and even last month. But share this tonight. The last 28 days of this year. The remaining 28 days of this month. And this year, I decree upon your life that you shall put testimonies in in your hand, they shall put new songs in your mouth. The grace for signs and wonders like never before. I release it upon you, receive it now. I release it upon you, receive it now. Supernatural signs and wonders through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for intimacy. The grace to spend time in his presence until you draw forth into your life the riches of heaven. I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. Let me impart the grace for prayer. There is the spirit of prayer and supplication. The grace to travel until you touch dimensions of spiritual reality receive that grace right now in the name of jesus every spiritual slumber every spiritual lukewarmness i declare be free from it right now the capacity to understand scripture high level spiritual illumination I declare, may your eyes be open. May your heart be open. May your mind be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. The fortitude to comprehend spiritual reality. I decree and declare, may that grace rest upon you. Hear me. For the things you need right now, that your spiritual level has not yet um, based on your spiritual level you may not seem to purchase those spiritual realities I stand by the power of this apostolic and prophetic mantle I still shift you to step into that level I shift you to step into that level levels of favor levels of honor levels of influence levels of speed let me pray over your finances please receive it in the name of Jesus Christ 
I sincerely pray for you from the depth of my heart that by the power that raised Christ from the dead I forbid your hands from being dry I forbid your hands from being dry enjoy the gift of man enjoy the gift of man enjoy the gift of man favor from the north favor from the south favor from the east favor from the west step into prepared blessings hallelujah where you have been despised from tonight I place a mantle of honor upon your head everything that has refused to grow in your life I declare the grace that makes for multiplication and growth whether it's your work whether it's your business whether it's your ministry experience exponential growth Finally, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. All the people who have been mandated to come and be blessed by your anointing, wherever they are, I decree and declare by divine coincidences, by the leadings of the Spirit, I send them to your life to be blessed. I send them to your church to be blessed. I send them to your organizations to be blessed. In the name of Jesus from today I want you to carry this consciousness I am a blessing say it please one more time say I am a blessing for the last time say I am a blessing reject anything that wants to make you look like you're a cause anybody who does not appreciate you for who you are just leave them with their ignorance but as far as you are concerned I am a blessing Say it in the morning, say it in the afternoon, say it in the evening. Whenever you go to work, you are not just an employee waiting for salary. I am a blessing. The power of God is at work in me. I am a blessing. A blessing to your husband, a blessing to your wife, a blessing to your children. A blessing by reason of being a doctor. A blessing by reason of being a man of God. I am not a curse. I don't bring pain. I don't bring regret. There is no regret around me. I am a blessing. In thee, says, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. When you carry the mentality, you are a blessing. When people come to you in need, you don't just look at them and pity yourself. You are happy because if you cannot give them money, if you cannot give them counsel, don't forget you are anointed. Don't say I cannot do anything. They may ask you for money. They may be confused. But there is something you have. You can tell them, listen, I may not be able to give you any money here, but let me pray. That grace, let it work. Go. And they will think they just left until they return with fearful testimonies. Be a proof producer. Be a sign producer. Be a wonder producer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be a multiplier factor to the advancement of the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's stand as I make the altar call. Jesus is calling someone right now. You heard what we said. You must be in Christ. The power that was released is for believers who are in Christ. And please hear me. You came to church tonight, young, old, whatever region you came from, and the Lord is calling you like this gentleman who is coming out right now. I'm going to make a call. It pays not only to serve Jesus, but to love him and to come. He's done everything. He's given his life literally for you. You can choose to remain behind and say, I don't care. But the Bible says in the day that you hear his voice, for some of you as you are coming out, is the salvation of your family that is coming out. For some of you as you are coming out, it is an evangelist that is coming out. An apostle in the making who is coming out. I'm going to count one to five. Wherever you are, I want you to run and come and stand right now as I make that call. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. 
it does not matter take your bags your bible if you can and everything you came to church with and very quickly come to the front god bless you i begin my counting now let's honor them going on here one come home two come home you Let him give you a new beginning. Some of you, your coming today is a response to the prayers of many. Come, young and old, together. You are in all the overflows, you are outside. And for our global family, those who are connecting by way of the internet, Jesus is giving you an opportunity. For some, you are saying, I remember giving my life to Jesus, but I need to rededicate my life and to make things right join them very quickly i'm about to pray join them join them hallelujah thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for coming and the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you have come to jesus he's able to give you a new beginning please lift your right hand if you can as a sign of surrender to jesus and i'd like you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are joining them please come join them very quickly we're about to pray say this loud and clear let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i love you with all my heart and i need you in my life right now i receive jesus as my savior i receive jesus as my lord i receive jesus as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever i am a child of god the righteousness of God and I go from glory to glory and grace to grace amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for this precious precious people you have brought thank you for those who are following online making Jesus Lord of their lives thank you for those in all of the overflows you have done this to bring glory to your name this is what it's all about and Lord we thank you for bringing these ones to Jesus they have come I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that based on the integrity of your word and their confession, we call them bona fide recipients of eternal life. We declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, that the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave is broken over your life. From tonight, you walk in the newness of life and you go from glory to glory. In Jesus' matchless name I pray. Bless name I pray. Welcome you. Last prayer point. The grace to be an active part of this institution called the church. Lift your voice and pray. Active through in gathering. Active as a worker. Active as, an, as a participant. Not a fan. There are no fans in the church. There are active people praying, serving, bringing souls, providing financial resources. Lord, whatever role I have to play to keep this institution that is the pillar and the ground of truth alive, I obtain grace. Go ahead to pray. Pray for every local assembly you know. Lord, keep them. Keep that institution. Keep the building from being idolized. But let it become a center for transformation, a center for salvation, a center for encounters. The house of God.
It is only in the house that God has commanded the blessing. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations. Receive it as a blessing. That's what you get when you come to church. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family. Amen. 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 Father, we pray that Koinonia will remain a place of encounters. We pray that Koinonia will remain a place of revelation. We pray that Koinonia will remain a place of transformation. We pray that Koinonia will remain the house of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we declare from tonight's teaching that we are willing to be sharpened battle axes that you will use to beat down the gates of darkness. Lord, we declare that we are the men and women you have found worthy to become hosts of your presence and advancers of your purposes. And Lord, we thank you for this family koinonia we thank you for every church and every ministry represented in the body of christ oh god strengthen the bond of fellowship Amen. bring unity over your body Amen. let all the walls of the divides the prejudices and all the things that divide us and weaken our strength i pray oh god that they will fade in light of what you are doing but as for this ministry, I pray that you will increase our bond of love. You will increase our bond of fellowship. That in truth, we will love one another without discrimination. We will love one another without favoritism. We will love one another in spite of our different levels of stratification. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit ourselves to love one another. We commit ourselves to loving you. And we pray that in and through our lives, Jesus will be revealed. Amen. We pray by extension, O oh God, committing our global family scattered across all the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus, we pray that that bond of unity and that bond of love will rest upon every one of us. Amen. We pray for the teachings the principal channel that you have used to extend your blessing through us to the nations. Lord, anoint those teachings afresh. May they go across the length and the breadth of this nation and across the globe. May they bring salvation. May they bring healing. May they bring liftings in the name of Jesus Christ. And as for you, because you came to church tonight, I decree, may the Lord bless you. I decree, may the Lord prosper you. I decree, may the Lord reveal himself to you. I decree that everything that has mocked God concerning your life, as a result of your coming tonight, I prophesy and I declare that it ceases from happening in your life. I sense in my spirit that there are people who whilst they heard this our brothers and sisters sharing their testimony of financial miracles, their hearts were just open and they said, oh, that God would step in for me. The prophetic dimension to activating wealth, like I've always thought, is not a license for laziness. But there are times when you are in the sea, 
there are times when your net is good. There are times when your fishing skill is there, but you will still not catch fish. At that point, you do not need fishing skill. You need Jesus. And for those who have exhausted all that they know to do, and it looks like financial doors are not opening, I prophesy to you, in the name that is above all names, return with strange miracles. Please just help those under the anointing. Everyone here who is sick in his body, the devil has taken advantage of you, not the church. The church is a place where we separate light from darkness. I decree and declare that everything that represents darkness in your life, let it be far from your life now. And everything glorious in your life that you have lost, for, the, for people here, there are people, the proverb, Ichabod, seems to be the proverb around your life. I declare, may that proverb never be heard around your life again. Every business here, hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare, the grace to excel, let it come upon you. Every dormant gift that is lying down within you, I decree and declare that gift is activated. And all those who can discern and reward that gift, I call them to pay attention to you. Hear yeah, I me? Mean, if there is anyone here whose spiritual life is going down, prayer life going down, your passion for God going down, don't feel condemned. And don't feel like there is no hope for you. This is the church. The place where you find hope. Therefore I decree and declare. Fresh fire upon your spiritual life. For everyone here who has been bereaved. And is in and through any kind of emotional pain. We decree and declare. Let the healer bring healing right now. And we stand here prophetically and we lend our voices together with many who are praying over Nigeria, over Africa, over Abuja. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the purposes of God will be established in our land. In the name of Jesus. And every controlling power over this territory, the territory of the FCT, the nation of Nigeria, the continent of Africa, we lend our voices as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a united force, we decree and declare, like Dagon fell before the ark, we declare that every altar that does not project Jesus, let it fall before the ark of his presence. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. In Jesus name please everyone remain standing let me plead with us just give me two minutes let's be disciplined two minutes let me make the altar call please no moving around just two minutes and we're done there are people here God has given you an opportunity to hear this word tonight you came from various places please let's minimize movement it's it's a culture listen you have to train yourself in the house of God patience for two three minutes will not stop you from doing what you're doing as much as possible Whenever the altar call is coming, except otherwise, let's just discipline ourselves to receive them and then we'll wrap up. There are people here across the balcony, here in the main auditorium, all the overflows and following online. You are saying, Apostle, I've heard you teach and I want to become part of the church. The church is not just men, men who are in Christ, men who have accepted the free gift of salvation. Two categories of people I want to call quickly. Number one, those who are saying, I need Jesus as a matter of life and death. Number two, those who are saying, Apostle, my life has gone haywire. I need restoration to my Christian experience. If you belong to any of these two categories, I'm going to count one to five. Please, very quickly, I'd like you to rush and come and stand. Be very bold. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they come. Who is this King of glory? 
the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? Keep coming. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Keep coming. Amen. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever amen for thy confusion as to the fact that something had come upon him are you blessed so while you are seated please if you can lay hands on your head and declare something must break open in my destiny this night oh god i come with a cry i come with a cry more than the ministration of a man i pray for encounters i pray for transformation illumination by the spirit of revelation i pray oh god that your outstretched arm will rest upon my life Are you praying for everyone that asked, receive it? Pray, oh God, that grace for prayer that I've longed for. This is a moment where it will mantle my life. That grace for the prophetic, that grace in the name of Jesus, that discipline in the spirit that I need to push through. This is a season, this is a moment. I open up my spirit to access something from heaven.
collect supernatural realities. within one or two minutes prayer point number one Lord I open up myself and I confess that I do not yet know as I ought to know someone lift your voice and pray this is not self-condemnation it's an acknowledgement someone pray I do not know enough in ministry as I ought to know I do not know enough as far as hosting your power and manifesting signs and wonders is concerned. I do not know enough as far as prosperity and the dynamics of wealth is concerned. I do not know enough as far as the manifestation of the word is concerned. Lord, thank you for that which you have shown me. Thank you for the results I've seen so far. But I confess that I need to know more. I have exhausted the validity of my knowledge so far. Someone is praying. Grant me grace. Somebody is praying. I'm tired of assuming results. I'm tired of dreaming results. I'm tired of wishing results. I'm tired of hoping for results. Lord, I want my life to be a perpetual manifestation of the multifaceted dimensions of the excellence of the kingdom and that comes through high level illumination teach me what i need to know you are the rabbi the wisdom of god teach me what i need to know in this conference
number two the last prayer point and we're done please look at me there were certain people who were always in Jesus's meetings and yet they never received they were called the scribes the Pharisees when Jesus met sinners he was quick to bless them because there was the brokenness and the malleability of heart they admitted their states but every time he met those who felt they knew what to do he left them in their ignorance are you ready to pray Lord give me humility of heart that if and when these truths come no matter how uncomfortable they sound may I obtain the humility to receive them for some of you these truths will come as chastisement for some of you these truths will come as a rebuke for some of you these truths will come as an encouragement for some of you these truths will come as a challenge albeit oh God I open my heart with no offense to receive let this be like the threshing floor of Naboth where you will make me and prune me no champion is trained at their own terms no champion is trained within the confines of their own convenience you must be stretched to do more hallelujah in the name of jesus now Lord, you discover you you discover that rod that you will be using to do mighty things for the kingdom can i tell you this no matter how many times you fall don't throw that rod that is the rod that you will part the red sea with make sure by the time you get to the red sea you don't get there alone get there with your rod your rod can be your voice your rod can be your hands your rod can be your brain your rod can be your character everything that can help you today we thank god for the privilege of this rod he has so trained us to hold it was once the rod of moses but when he handed it over to god it became the rod of god never call the rod of moses again it is called the voice of you but when you hand it over to god it's now called the voice of god it will now sing songs that will go around the world it will now preach messages that will go around the world be careful when you laugh at people who are in their seasons of training you may be laughing at your destiny helper and bury your head in shame forever there are people who laughed at young people thinking they will never rise there are people who laughed at business people can can i tell you this sometimes god allows people to witness your failure so that they will be the defenders of your greatness they will say no 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 i saw this man of god i knew when he held a crusade that nobody was there i saw this business person i my mother even gave him 20 naira don't be ashamed of your season of tears the scar on your hand today you've heard me say it what you are ashamed of today will become your symbol of honor tomorrow are you ready to pray let's stop here tonight please rise up on your feet please no moving around lend me two or three minutes we are going to pray we are going to pray we are going to pray you are going to lift up your voice in the next two or three minutes and you are going to cry before the God of heaven you are going to tell him Lord I am in my season of preparation grant me grace grant me grace lift your voice and pray if someone pray grant me grace to discover you some of you are just starting in destiny God may not be talking to you about purpose God may not be talking to you about ministry he may not be talking to you about your assignment he will talk to you about himself he wants you to know him not your talent God first Lift your voice and pray. Cry before the Lord your maker. In the beginning, God, over my life. So what will start as a ministry, starts as an encounter with God. What will start as a kingdom financing ministry, will still start as God. What will start as a kingdom political career, still starts as God. Everything, no matter what it is, if it is in its beginning, it is God. Pray. Pray.
pray for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline grant me the diligence may i not pamper myself may i not pamper my destiny let pain not be a a, a, a distraction let pain not constitute a limitation grant me the grace to endure like a faithful soldier building building my mind building my gifts building my mind building my value building my mind building my value is someone praying building my mind building my value this is a template that our fathers followed this is a template that our fathers gave us this is a template that scripture gives us we cannot compromise on the pattern pray for the season of pests oh that when god will prove me may i be faithful that when god will prove me may i have the stamina to remain ye who have continued with me ye who have continued with destiny I will finish my season of training with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility, with honor, with nobility. Hallelujah. Hear me. Now you are going to pray for sensitivity so that you will not be missing on the day the grace for appearance comes may it find you where god asks you to stay listen the devil can cheat you through offense the devil can cheat you through impatience the devil can cheat you through the manipulation of demonic spirits to not be where the grace for your season of appearance will find you i like you to pray and cry for grace sensitivity oh god to be where my lifting will meet me. Is someone praying? Go ahead. Please pray. This is a spiritual strategy for greatness. This is a spiritual strategy in this kingdom there is no magic about how we rise this is the protocol non-emotional non-negotiable non-emotional non-negotiable i obtain grace to be sensitive to the man that god will send when my season of appearing comes i will be sensitive to the instructions that come hallelujah pray please take this prayer serious job chapter 5 and verse 19 are you ready to read want to read with me he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea in seven shall no evil touch you number one next verse please in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword next verse thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth why listen it says for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant with the elements of creation 
that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall thrive. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving, but in the realm of the Spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4. I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5. And strangers. This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feed. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. 
the bible says and david said is there any man in the house of saul that i may show him kindness for jonathan's sake and they called a man called ziba who had 15 sons the bible says he sent him to lodeba he said there is a crippled man called mephibosheth go and fetch the man the king said when he came he said although you are crippled even mephibosheth said am i a dog that the king will be sending for me he said the children of ziba would plow the land for him he said but as for you mephibosheth you will eat with me at my table here forever keep that scripture there listen this scripture is a deliverance scripture stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know it's none of your business how god will bring you the breakthrough stop troubling your uncle your auntie every time you are saying god visit me your mind is going to a particular person that real estate man leave god to decide who like a movie director let him decide who will come with the blessing are you ready to pray make decrees in this season strangers are feeding my flock strangers are feeding my flock the sons of Elia are coming to bless me hell prepare blessings rising from everywhere hallelujah two prayer points and we're done are you ready to pray we are going to pray for nigeria how many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation you see the happenings around this nation the church should not be silent it's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements our assignment is to pray pray like believers with intelligence he said pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we are going to pray we cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people you heard the testimony of our dear auntie here the precious daughter just came out of the her school and these wicked evil people entered a car and that's how they carried her killed other innocent people whoever digs a pit for you i stand by my god and i declare they must enter that pit hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together 
for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me make decrees over our lives now. Decrees are powerful. Hallelujah. Prophetic words don't only reveal, they create. They make what is not there to be there. We can call the things that be not and make them to appear. We can call the favor that be not and make it appear. We can call the lifting that be not and make it appear. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has refused to open over your destiny, I declare, let it be open right now. Let it be open right now in the name of Jesus. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you. I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe. I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life. 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 Listen to me. Every strange pattern and occurrence in any family, circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves. I stand by the God of heaven and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I break those patterns now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ Let's decree favor. Ah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the kind of favor you have not seen in your life. I stand by the God of heaven if you can believe it. I declare between now and next week Sunday, return with a fearful testimony of favor. I speak it from the depth of my spirit. Return with a fearful testimony of favor. We shift systems, we shift structures, and I command favor. I declare favor. I command favor. I declare favor. Can I pray for your spiritual life? Everything that has killed your hunger 
and your passion for the things of God. You used to pray in the night, but now you sleep all till the day. There is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you. So the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer. Receive an impartation of the grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Hear me. We are wrapping up. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are many of you. Seasons are about to open in your life. But listen, listen. The devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons. Beware. One of the traps of Satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense. Everything offends you. Your husband, your wife, your children, your boss. Make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation. I declare joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable, full of glory. Joy unspeakable, full of glory. Joy unspeakable, full of glory. Hallelujah. Let me pray for those in business. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost and I believe in miracles. I don't care how it has been before now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, what has refused to walk in your hands? Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go, uh, Go back and watch wonders happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shalt find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.